this video you are going to study and you are going to learn how to create uh, websites with uh, without code okay uh, in, in my previous videos i have created website pages uh, by messing with the code but uh, in this video i will try my level best to uh, create website pages without code okay just by uh, just in design view in dreamweaver 2018 version okay uh, without wasting time let's start the task okay uh, before uh, uh, before moving over to the first step let's save it as okay uh, let's save it in my videos folder and make its name as index and just save it uh, let's change the whole page uh, font style to Calibri and uh, you can you can set uh, points font style to your own choice but right now I am changing to Calibri by uh, if you want to change the whole page uh, font um, style you can go to this page properties option but uh, uh, with with the help of this properties tab but if you cannot uh, see this properties tab uh, on the bottom of this uh, Dreamweaver environment you can go to this windows option and you can f uh, um, uh, sh uh, you can you know uh, get this properties tab from here and uh, by clicking here and by pressing control plus f3 from your keyboard okay uh, let's click on this option page properties and go to this option and find the calibri uh, uh, option uh, font here if you cannot uh, uh, if calibri is not visible in this uh, list you can uh, go to this option and you can find it by clicking on this custom font and you can get the font from here uh, just search your desired font from here Calibri like this and you can uh, move it in this list and click done and, and by clicking on done option then you, uh, that font would be visible in this list also just click on this option and let's apply this font to whole page and just now uh, let's insert a table here of uh, four columns 10 rows 1000 pixels should be table width and uh, cell padding should be zero cell spacing should be two and let's click on ok you can create the page uh, table according to your choice also but uh, right now i'm doing like this and let's now make it in center from this small arrow you uh, you know uh, drop down option you can click on select table option uh, by uh, clicking on this the whole table would be select and go to this uh, properties uh, tape uh, tab and here uh, as we have selected the table here and you will get all of the properties regarding the table you can change the properties from here because we have selected the table above but right now i am going to align it in center by uh, using this option and uh, let's see it's applied or not to check uh, first just press ctrl s i i am pressing ctrl s to save the changes and let's see uh, its output uh, to see a the you know formatting has been applied to this table or not and right now i'm going to check in google chrome let's click on this and let's see what is the output okay uh, as uh, you know we have not uh, 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 entered any value in cell padding we have you know we have selected let's uh, let me select the table first and to change this border value okay let uh, let's uh, give it a value as one and press ctrl s and now check its output yes it it has been you know it has been uh, aligned into center okay this was uh, uh, the thing that we want to check okay let's move towards the next step and now again you can you know if you don't like this uh, again select the table and remove this and you know you can work in this now okay uh, now we have to add uh, images okay uh, in this uh, first cell we have to add logo for that purpose uh, let's go to insert menu and click on image 
and go to this videos option select this folder images folder and select this logo okay logo has been added and uh, next uh, as you can see when I click it uh, clicked here uh, the formatting of the columns has been changed you can uh, you know set it like this so click on this and drag it and you can adjust it okay now let's uh, you know merge uh, this row uh, by uh, these three cells only select these three cells and right click on 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 these selected uh, cells and go to table and merge cells okay now you got this one cell only now here you know creating the navigation okay home uh, about uh, contact us and about us okay and if you want to align it uh, you know basically we uh, we are working in this cell in this big cell and we have to uh, you know uh, align this text into right side so as you can see this is this text text is selected and you can change its alignment uh, from the bottom you know this uh, this cell properties can you see cell properties here and from here horizontally select center okay okay not uh, we need it in right you know right side okay now uh, these you know uh, and we have added the text press control s and let's uh, link you know some page behind all of these uh, all of these uh, words you know okay but before that uh, let me uh, save it uh, save this page uh, before that we have saved this page here in videos folder but uh, right now uh, let me save it in uh, let me create another folder and save it in this folder okay uh, let, let's set a name for this folder uh, X new website okay I am going to save it in this folder uh, yes update links okay now I am pressing control minus to you know control plus and minus you can by uh, you can uh, zoom it and zoom out by pressing control minus and control plus okay double click on this home option and I am going to create a you know hyperlink to uh, create a, you know navigation uh, click on this uh, insert menu and find out this hyperlink option and go to this folder and as you can see uh, uh, this new website folder already has opened and I am going to uh, uh, link this uh, page behind this home home uh, page okay double click on that and by let's select this blank you can study uh, you know these uh, properties on the net you know what is the purpose of all of these you can check it out on the internet uh, let's select this blank and the, let's give it the title of this page as home page and click ok and as you can see uh, this uh, has been changed in blue color and also uh, underlined now let's select con contact us and uh, again go to insert option and go to this hyperlink and again uh, select this page behind this page uh, sorry behind this you know contact us uh, after that uh, uh, later we can you know uh, change uh, okay wait 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 before that we should we should change the you know copy and change the name of this you know let's copy it paste it here and I am going to rename it as contact us page and 
again control V and uh, another copy of it and rename it as okay rename it as about us okay now copy uh, control X and paste it here and now we can link uh, about us and contact contact us pages behind uh, this page go to here and select this and insert hyperlink and now select this page and select blank give it a title contact us okay now select this one and create a navigation for this create basically create a hyperlink for this about us select blank give it a title about us and now navigation has been created okay press ctrl s and let's uh, check it out in google chrome it's working okay by clicking on home let's see we can see that it's home page again contact us about us okay uh, when I try to check its output like this if you can see uh, when you will click on home page it will show you the home page if you will click on contact us page it will show you the contact us page but uh, right but after that the navigation or hyperlinks has been gone okay uh, so there is something wrong we actually we made a mistake uh, I have figured it out